Hey, what's happening? Now, what's up? My name's Jacob, Jacob McDonald. Welcome to my channel. And welcome to the third instalment of my reaction as a rugby player to lingerie football, or the LFL. Uh, we're, about to, we're about to listen to a news report um, on Nightline by ABC. Now, I'm not sure whether I should... <laughs> I'm not sure what this guy's going to say, actually. He looks... He looks... He looks like he might be interested in it, um, but I feel like I feel like we're going to go back and forth in this news story. This is this is a news story originally aired on December the twenty eighth, two thousand thirteen, by ABC News um, about lingerie football league and whether the league is sexist or sexy. I'm not sure. We're about to find out. I'll refrain from making my judgment until the end. But what I am going to do is read the description. Okay, and. Before I do, look, I am gonna, I am gonna mention there is only one thing, one thing that I didn't like about what I've seen so far, and that is the language that the coaches used at the game with the opposite team. Like that, they really go in hard. I feel like there's no rules around language. There's no penalties. There's no fucking. There's no flags being thrown. There is. There's nothing. So I guess you'd hope in that environment that no players are being taken advantage of or that the wrong message is not being spread, you know what I mean? So before we continue, I am going to I'm going to take this off because I, I look, I kind of feel like Darth Vader and, and that's not the look we're going for today. I'm going to try and look in the camera lens and not at myself. I'm going to get the screen recorder going and then we're going to watch this news report. It's interesting. I've seen a little bit of the league now. I want to know what the public think. This is seven years ago. Times have changed. Times have changed, I will say that. But the description says, Players in the all-female league wear skimpy uniforms and hockey helmets. Many feel it's damaging to the development of young women. With war paint smeared on their faces, football pads on their shoulders and garters dangling from their lace trim shorts. The all-female football team, known as the Chicago Bliss, filed into their locker room at halftime. They were beating their Midwest rivals, the Green Bay Chill, but their coach was not at all pleased with how they were playing. Get your shit together. That girl is kicking your fucking ass, he yelled at one of the players. Welcome to the Legends Football League, where ladies dressed in nothing but a bra, booty shorts and hockey helmet play 7-on-7 seven seven football. Ground stomping, body bruising, football. Okay, that is exactly what I was talking about. The language that I heard from the coaches. But we're about to get into it. So without further ado, sit back, relax, eat your popcorn, and let's find out whether Lingerie Football League is super sexy or super sexist. Well, with college bowl games and the final regular season battles in the NFL, but there's another league that's shaking things up this season. This one involves tough female athletes, but instead of suiting up, they're stripping down. ABC's Juju Chang gets up close and very personal for another look at lingerie football. They're tanned, toned, and just as tough as the guys. Now, these aren't pro athletes. They're the girls next door, some even moms. I feel really good. I feel like we have the momentum. We it's halftime. See, that's interesting. I, I was wondering whether these girls were like, well, obviously not pro athletes, but ex, ex college collegiate athletes. And I'm thinking they're all in really good shape. They all seem to be pretty athletic. I'm sure a lot of them have had experience in sports. But to hear that some of them have had kids and they're playing, that's impressive. In a football locker room. Sit down and shut the f up. Even though they're ahead, their coach is not at all pleased. Get your shit together! That goes kicking your f ass! After 18 years of coaching men, Coach Hack feels the biggest compliment he can pay these ladies is to treat them just like the guys. The worst defense in the league stops you. You guys are much better than this. Welcome to the big league. The Legends Football League, where ladies dressed in nothing but a bra and booty shorts play football, ground stomping, body bruising football. <laughs> the Chicago Blitz is part of what league promoters say is the fastest growing sports franchise. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 Hang on, that was the first. Sorry, guys. Sorry, but that was the first time I've seen any. Which I'm sure it happens a lot, actually, but it's the first time I've seen any clothes actually come off. Yeah, I guess um, that's probably a regular occurrence but football. the Chicago Blitz is part of what league promoters say is the fastest growing sports franchise but the LFL also has a chorus of critics who accuse them of objectifying women to sell tickets so is the sport super sexy or just plain sexist most football training doesn't include manicures what do you think of critics who say oh well you know you're just exploiting 
skin. I get definitely get why people feel that way, but at the same time, we're serious. It's just the costume. Yashi Rice plays defensive tackle. And Yashi Rice chases her down. None of the players get paid, so her day job? We're going to go through the information together first. Selling life insurance. Her brother, Simeon Rice, played 12 years in the NFL and even won a Super Bowl. Allie Alberts is the wide receiver. Ah, oh, this is sick, bro. How can this? How can you? How can you hate on this, man? How can you hate on that? It's just a costume. It's literally just a costume, and this should be. In, this is actually inspiring. If I was a girl watching this, knowing that these girls are mums, they've got jobs, yet they want to get out there and play hard, play a play a sport, play a man's sport, effectively a man's sport, um, hard, and, and show that you know us girls can do this. You know that that is sexy to me. To be honest, that that ain't sexist. A dentist. Her specialty, periodonture. Allie Alberts made a good play too. And brutal hits. You're putting yourself at great physical risk. I can't. And you have already suffered concussions. See, that's the thing. It's a hard game, man. These, some of these hits that I've seen, there's definite concussions happening. Okay, and these helmets aren't as big as the normal football helmets. So, I've got to give them respect. And yet, you're not compensated at all. Right. I mean, I'm most concerned about my right hand. Like, if I break a finger on this right hand, I really can't do any dentistry. Tight end Jamie Barwick shrugs off the risks. Tell her about when you... Holy you shit. As a single mom, she wants her seven-year-old son, Jackson, to see her as tough. Go, mom! So what kind of message are you sending your son by playing football? Don't be afraid of anything. People always ask why. Why not? I love sports. I love being part of a team. Oh, my God! It's 8 a.m. on a Saturday morning, game day. That would be fun, man. I joined the ladies of the Chicago Bliss on a road trip to do battle with their Midwest rivals, the Green Bay Chill. The Ferrari heading out about to kick Green Bay ass. They've got a marathon ride to Green Bay ahead of them. The team should spend the ride mapping out their game strategy. But it's hard to focus. Damn! This bus feels like a supercharged sorority house. <laughs> After years of playing in lingerie, it's I was going to say that kind of environment would probably only suit certain players, just just like it would only suit certain guys in that environment. Clear, these women are comfortable in their own skin, wardrobe malfunctions and all. Yeah, I definitely have my top pulled open. Yeah. yeah. After I scored, yeah. I grabbed it. After yeah. I scored, I was, you know, yeah. and then I just gave it. Did you like that? Did you want to watch some game film and just get back into football mode? Yeah. 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 Just chill. Yeah. Yeah. The bus finally arrives in Green Bay. Juju in the house! Now, it's time to get suited up and dolled up. It looks good. The locker room quickly turns into a beauty salon. One girl in my makeup, one girl in my eyelashes. I put my socks in here. No, I don't do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> and minutes before game time, emotions run high. This is the team I picked to go to war with. Let's do it for us. Let's do it for our fans. As the teams face off, it appears to be more performance than play. <laughs> and we are back for this monster hey. Midwestern match. You practice a move, the you practice a dance. Start off strong. But the rough and tumble of the game is not for the faint of heart. During her first outing, Allie, the dentist, got knocked out cold. Bam! Actually, Salerno absolutely destroys Allie Albert. You spent hundreds of thousands of dollars training your brain, and then you go and get your brain scrambled. <laughs> That was definitely the main argument that my family had, like something you've worked, you know, your whole life towards. You know, why would you do this? And my answer is that I can't not do it. I love it. It's, I love it. Finds Alberts in the corner of the end zone. Although the league requires that these women oh, have insurance, the league doesn't pay for it. That's... They're playing on a field half the size of the NFL, but the fear of concussions is ever present, especially since they're wearing almost no padding and tackling with hockey helmets. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you concerned that they don't have enough helmet protection? There's a reason why the NHL has far less sustained concussions in the NHL versus the NFL. Because once you put them in a football helmet, oftentimes it's used as a weapon. They, they tend to spear one another. 
These women are smart. If they felt in any way that they weren't protected out here, they wouldn't come back. Although there are higher risks to playing with such little padding, Commissioner Mitch Mortaza says they do it all for the love of the game. But he makes no apologies for the league's business model, that sex sells. We just happen to have an entire league of Tom, Tom Brady's and David Beckham's and Maria Sharapova's. That's the business model. We're very upfront and honest about it. And I think to a degree, that's definitely helped in the marketing of the sport. Observing over the middle. In the second half of the game, the Green Bay Chill mount a comeback. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? But in the end, the Chicago Bliss prevail 27 to 18. <laughs> Victory is sweet. We have successful women on our team. We have mothers on our team. I mean, we're not just football players. There's so much more. With their skimpy outfits and trash-talking ways. Which makes it, honestly, that makes it even more intriguing and exciting to follow these players than it does the NFL players. Because, I mean, these girls have actually got something else going on. So that's, that's admirable, if nothing else. These athletes may just be the unlikely vanguard for the new feminine mystique. And this game really lived up to the billing. Next week, L.A. For Nightline, I'm Juju Chang in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Good shit, man. Okay. Hey, look, I'm not going to make any claims. I'm not going to stick my foot in it. Um, I feel like I've given a fairly, you know, fair, unbiased reaction. And, and what I'm going to do is just look up. I mean, obviously, it's, uh, it's COVID times right now, so I'm not too sure whether they'll be playing. But I do want to know if it's still, still on. You know what I mean? If it's still, if it's still going, because that was back in 2013. That was back in, holy shit. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight teams in a new competition played in 2020. We've got Atlanta, Austin, Chicago, Denver, Kansas, Los Angeles, Omaha, and Seattle. And there's plenty of former teams played between 2009 and 2019. There's a Canadian league. There's an Australian league. Believe it or not. <laughs> okay. Only played between 2013 and 2014. They must have stopped it in 2014 for some reason. Let me try and find a draw. What? What? Gardening, gardening tools, home and kitchen. Oh, uh, what? Huh? Lingerie Football League 2021. Alright, let's go Wikipedia. Here we go. The league was originally founded in 2009. December 13th, 2019, the LFL announced that it would not be holding a 2020 season and instead restructured as the X-League, placing new teams mostly in the same locations as the 2019 LFL season. Okay, so it's called the Extreme Football League. 2020 Extreme Football League. And we're looking at the eight teams. Oh my God. 2012, the Legends Football League... Nate, uh, in 2012, the Legends Football League teamed with Japanese-based Yuke's Co. Limited to design and develop an official LFL game, but was never released. Now that, I'll tell you what, that's, that's a disappointment. But what we do have is a Bikini Basketball Association and a Lingerie Basketball League and Foxy Boxing. I'm going to leave those there. I'm going to leave the Legends Football League there. And I'm just going to say that that was a whole lot of fun. That was a whole lot of fun, and that is what I get from that. I don't think it's sexist. I think that, I think that if anything, you know, the concussion risk is huge, but it's a huge risk in the game of, you know, men's American football too. And when I, whenever I see a, a big collision, I can sort of tell, okay, at, in real time, I can kind of tell if the head was compromised. If the head's compromised, there's a big collision, I can tell the head's compromised, someone's lying on the floor. I'm gonna cringe like hell. I don't like seeing that. But when I see girls going up against each other, having fun in their team environments, loving the game of football. Like that girl said, right? She loves it. She loves it. Ain't nobody going to tell someone not to do something that they love. Life's too short and that's all I've got to say. So, thank you for watching. That was my look into LFL. I had two missions for today. Finish the top 100 series and have a look at the Lingerie Football League or what's better known as Extreme Football League. So, for all the athletes in the Extreme Football League, I want to say best of luck. And have a great night. Thank you everyone for watching. Peace out. And I'll see you in the next one.